uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of videos going into uh, the holidays every year regarding items that you, maybe you're a spouse of a overlander or you are looking to buy something for yourself uh, for the holidays or for a birthday or what have you. And uh, you might need a little guidance. You might be looking for something in a certain price category, uh, that sort of thing. So this is a much different video than I've ever done. Uh, I've never done a you know product video, you know gift video. But I think some of these, as you saw in the thumbnail, might just surprise you uh, as you learn about them and may find that these are items you want to get for yourself or for that overlander, off-roader, car camper in your family. Um, I'm up here in the uh, Sierra National Forest and it's freezing, like literally it's 32 degrees right now. So I'm going to do a quick uh, wardrobe change and uh, I'll be right back. Hang on. All right. Uh, this hoodie right here, if you don't know what uh, TSTN is, uh, the story till now. Hey, this is not uh, one of the gifts I was thinking you should give uh, this winter to uh, somebody in your family. Uh, honestly, it's just super warm. Little plug for uh, Sean's uh, channel. Oh yeah. Now that is, that is really nice. Okay, so we're gonna go through a few products right in front of you that are in kind of $50 increments. Starting off with the $50 level, and that is uh, actually two items. Uh, when you combine them together, the overall cost is going to be right at about $50. And that is first this titanium cup. And this comes from a brand uh, you can find on Amazon called Tom Shoe. Uh, that is T O M S H O O. This is a uh, 750 milliliter titanium cup, has a little uh, top on it as well. So you can use this to uh, cook with. You can uh, actually cook with it over an open flame, as far as I understand, but this is super lightweight. A great little uh, coffee mug, or even if you're a backpacker, having this ultra lightweight um, cup or, or pot, if you will, is, uh, is a real plus. It weighs next to nothing. Um, that there, roughly in the 20 to 25 dollar category i'll put the actual price uh, in the bottom of the screen links uh, for all these items will be in the description for you but uh, to get to that 50 dollar level again this is maybe a little bit more for the backpacker um, but i also thought of this as a great gift for uh, a young camper who might be going out and looking for something fun to do um, it, it also is an actual, um, you know, kind of survival type of stove. It comes in all of these pieces. You have a uh, grill plate here. Set that down. You have a couple of uh, crossbars that you can put your grill plate on. I know you probably can't see that very well, but I will assemble this for you here in just a second. And then a few pieces inside that all come apart and create this little tiny uh, wood burning or you can also use kind of that uh, I think it's like a an alcohol gel something uh, to that effect that you can put in a little tray here and have a, a little fire I thought it'd be great like I said for uh, maybe if you bring uh, young folks along with you, kids along with you, and they want something to do uh, around the campfire, around dinner time, something like that, they can build this, 
put it all together, it's a little fire pit and, that you can put uh, and cook over top of. So I'm going to put this uh, together here and um, I'll, uh, I'll show it to you here shortly. All right, you start uh, with the base and I'm going to be putting this together as a little wood burning stove and then you don't want to be uh, just burning straight onto the ground so there's this little insert down here which uh, you could put all the little sticks and things in there next piece goes on top which gets everything kind of up and away from the flame then there's these little um, kind of grill crossbars there and your last piece would be your grill top just like that now one thing you could do without the grill top is go ahead and take your titanium cup and uh, perhaps boil some water right over top just like that so really cool product here from tom shoe again link in the description for the $50 category here. Both these combined, actually I think are just under 50 bucks. All right, so now on to the approximately $100 category. And uh, is it, let's see, it's this ammo can fire pit from Tactical. It's a husband and wife company. They manufacture these themselves and honestly, this is incredible. This is the, I think it's called the sub compact uh, ammo can uh, fire pit. I'll put all that information in the link below uh, so you can go. This one is sure to impress on your next overlanding uh, camping uh, outing. And it's, uh, you know, looks kind of tame right now, right? Let me crank this bad boy up and you can see just how much flame can come out of this tiny fire pit. I can feel that from here. It's literally almost too hot to bear, but uh, what better, more compact fire pit is there that you can take with you? Uh, I'm in California, so we have a lot of burn bans and that sort of thing. Um, this thing is just absolutely awesome you got to get this in the hundred dollar category again it's a small business husband and wife uh, they build these themselves and um, you will not go wrong getting this for somebody for uh, perhaps christmas this year you want to see that again here we go hey there you have it packs a punch Take that back to a uh, little more moderate level there and uh, let's move on to the hundred and approximately fifty dollar uh, level so as I put in the thumbnail surprise um, what I wanted to do is not just bring to you some various products that you've seen on many other uh, overlanding channels, things like that. I wanna bring you some items, hopefully I have already, that uh, might catch you a little off guard, maybe something you haven't thought about already. And this next item is a critical piece of recovery gear. There's obviously tree straps, there's uh, toe straps, there's, you know, all kinds of things uh, out there that uh, will help you get out of a pickle. But not too often do I find that folks are traveling around with a kinetic rope. And in this case, a really nice set, again, at that $150 level, which comes to us from uh, a uh, small business, a gentleman named Ian, uh, who's starting up his business, and it's called Adventure X Outdoors. Adventure X Outdoors. Link will be in the description. Comes with this really, really nice, high quality um, bag. And inside also has a uh, bottle opener right here on the side. 
Uh, the, the quality of this bag, I wish I could show it to you somehow uh, through the uh, camera here, but it's it's kind of hard to, to see that. And plus I'm uh, filming at night here. So let me go ahead and get this open, show you what comes inside. Inside, you'll get a very high quality kinetic rope, bright orange. You can just tell by the uh, craftsmanship of it. Uh, Ian had these made, uh, little known secret, by a company who uh, also produces items for some of the big names that you know uh, in the industry. But uh, Ian was able to uh, get this product made uh, specific for his startup, which is Adventure X Outdoors. Um, the working load limit on this is just over 15,000 uh, pounds, and the max break strength is just over 30,000 pounds. Um, if you don't know about a kinetic rope, uh, you got to check this out and uh, add this to your recovery gear. But that's not all. Let's look inside because there's not just one, but there are two matching soft shackles. This whole um, package, so to speak, uh, for right around that $150 price point, uh, sometimes goes on sale, different things like that. We're working on getting a, a, a discount code, uh, but it, I don't know if it'll be up and running by the time this video hits. So for 150 bucks, you not only get these two soft shackles, but the kinetic rope and this really, really nice bag. Uh, that it comes in here. So 150 bucks. This will definitely be a big hit uh, If you get this for the overlander in your family Everything fits back nicely in there. I'm not gonna zip it up um, Because sometimes the most quality zippers are uh, The hardest to zip uh, that's that's usually a good thing. I don't want to struggle on camera here So check this out link in the description $150 category. So now we're into the $200 uh, category and this is a product I have not yet used. Uh, this did get sent to me and I found it very very interesting in the world of recovery boards and it's made here by Bunker Industry. I'm going to take them out in just a second and show you why I think these are so unique. Um, these can be found on Vic Off-Road, and I will put a link to that in the description. Right now, these are going for a set of two for, I think, right at $199, okay? So that $200 category. You can buy recovery boards like Max Trax, uh, ARB, and I can promise you for two of them, it's not going to be $200. Uh, you can also buy recovery boards that are probably for a set of two, they're $70 or $80, right? You can see kind of the two extremes of that spectrum. Max Tracks over here, which those are incredible products. Nobody's going to dispute that. And then maybe some of the Amazon specials over on this side. But right in the middle, and I believe this in terms of the quality just looking at these, um, is these bunker industry um, traction boards that are critical to get you out of a pickle if you are uh, going snow wheeling or there's a lot of mud. Uh, traction boards can be your very best uh, solution when, uh, when you get stuck. So I'm gonna open these up, show you some of the uniqueness of them. I know you think traction boards are just traction boards, and in many cases they are, but these uh, Bunker Industries traction boards are a little different. So let me go ahead and uh, pull them out here. Oh, and man, these are heavy. They come in this uh, carrying case, which is really nice. I mean, all the gear that I buy I really love to have in a uh, carrying case. Open this up. I'm just gonna pull one of them out. Well, I may not be able to do that 
because they're kind of nesting in there. Here you are, the Bunker Industry traction boards. Two of them, obviously. I'm gonna put one uh, just over here up against the Jeep. And I wanna bring this other one a little closer to the camera because there's some unique features of this traction board. First, on the underside, it has more of a pronounced, um, you know, peaks on the underside of the board, which the thought there is that this will dig into the ground a little bit more and uh, keep these uh, in place a lot better. You can see there's all kinds of little teeth. Not sure if you can see those there, but there's these little teeth on the underside. These are not removable. You're saying removable, you know, nothing's removable on a traction board. Well, flip this thing over and on this side, you'll see very similar teeth, but the difference is these can be taken off and replaced. If they start to get worn down, something to that effect, these uh, teeth in the uh, set here comes with, I think it's like, two or three full uh, sets of these little teeth or nubs is what I'd like to call them. Little nubs that help you gain traction as you drive over the board. Now, one thing you'll notice that I have not yet seen on any other traction board, and this is on both ends, you can see this steel plate. And these teeth right here, they're actually I'm not gonna say sharp, but they are definitely going to catch as your tire starts to roll up this and really help you gain traction. That steel plate is not just a uh, wimpy uh, steel plate either. It is on there, is bolted on there really nicely. Really nice quality of, uh, of finish there. And uh, it's interesting. I haven't used these yet. I, I'm sure I'll be using these uh, in the winter, but these traction boards might be a little bit of a uh, threat to some of those higher cost name brands, so to speak. Uh, while at the same time, this is not something that you're gonna find in the uh, low end category. Uh, they're right there in the middle. Uh, anybody you get these for as a gift is not going to be disappointed. Um, the thickness on this is uh, is uh, just really, really incredible. So haven't used them, but uh, I know I will be on some upcoming trips. Let's put these over here. And uh, inside the bag for the Bunker Industries. I'm gonna drop everything here, hang on. Comes, as I was mentioning, these little teeth. There's red ones, there's black ones, and then there is a, a key or a wrench, so to speak, to uh, attach these to the front side of that board. I really liked kind of the all black look. You can buy these uh, separate and uh, um, add them to your board, but uh, keep an eye out for this. I think we're gonna start to see these in a lot of videos and out on the trail a whole lot more due to that $200 price point. Um, not a bad price point for a quality set of traction boards. So we'll put this stuff down here and we're going to move on to the $250 category. What do we have left? We have uh, two items here. It is not the moonshade. We're gonna talk about that here in a minute. Um, it is actually the Boxio. And if you saw my last video, the kitchen video, um, I showcased this Boxio quite a bit because this is, from what I can tell, one of the first self-contained overland uh, or van life outdoor camping sinks on the market. 
it goes for right around 250 i think it's on sale right now uh, around i don't know 229 something to that effect but you're going to find it right there uh, in that category and as i have links for these i'll include various discount codes if i have any um, i'll make sure that i get you hopefully the very best deal on some of these products here but the boxio comes in this uh, plastic container uh, thick thick plastic almost like a uh, front runner box if you know what I'm talking about there uh, I use those quite a bit I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and uh, as you can see inside the lid here I have uh, have a few spare parts in there I have a uh, dish towel just to keep handy and here is your faucet and here is the pump for the faucet the pump is like when you go to the doctor in the old days and they're gonna take your uh, blood pressure and they squeeze that little uh, thing yeah that's pretty much what it is it creates pressure in a uh, 1.3 gallon tank of fresh water that's inside the box and then there's a 1.3 three a gallon tank of what I've called uh, your gray water, right? So as you've washed your hands, washed some dishes, whatever it is, and that water goes into a separate tank uh, and is held there uh, versus, you know, coming out underneath or, you know, running down a stream or anything like that. So it really keeps everything self-contained, which is very, very nice. And uh, this faucet here is actually like something you would find in a house. It is very, very high quality metal. This is not a uh, you know low quality product. The wash basin here uh, is just very, very nicely done. The drain even, there's even a drain plug, there's a strainer, uh, everything that you would need. And um, I'll, I'll show here uh, in the video some of the application of using it. It's really nice to have a sink around camp wash your hands wash vegetables wash dishes things like that and uh, with this box seal again that goes right in that 250 dollars category you have a kitchen sink at camp you've heard it said before you know bring everything uh, including the uh, kitchen sink or hey you've got everything but the kitchen sink well now you've got the kitchen sink and uh, it's here contained within this boxio so let's move this back set it up right there and we're going to move to what is roughly the $300 category and in that category is one of my absolute favorite overlanding items and it is the moonshade now uh, tonight we have a full moon but this is not really meant to protect you from the moon or give you shade from the moon, though ironically it's called the moon shade. What this moon shade is meant for is it's meant to be a portable awning that can attach to really any vehicle. It is very popular in the van life side of things. This can be attached to anything. I've used it on my Jeep. If you look behind you, you'll see there's no roof rack. Um, I have a couple little brackets that I put on the uh, top of my Jeep there in the back, and this moonshade attaches to it. I'm gonna show hopefully some B-roll of me uh, uh, using it here, and um, I have found that it is very, very sturdy. Uh, I actually took it out in what was uh, called a hurricane in California just a few months ago. I don't know if it was truly a hurricane by the time it reached where I live, but I took this moonshade out in that hurricane, set it up, winds were blowing, and this thing was uh, solid as a rock. The craftsmanship of it is just uh, incredible. This moonshade, I have uh, a lot of other overlanding buddies who are thinking about switching to a moonshade. 
Uh, even sometimes instead of those 270 degree awnings that are attached to their uh, to their rigs. It is so lightweight, as you can see, it sets up very, very easily. And um, I can't say enough about this moonshade. You don't need to have a rooftop tent to have it. You don't need to have a roof rack to have it and use it. So whoever you're getting this for, uh, whoever you're buying this for potentially, or maybe for yourself, um, this is one I've used quite a bit and I can absolutely say I love this moonshade. Uh, it's gonna be with me, with my setup for a very long time. So let me put this back. Set it right there. All right, so there you have it. Um, as I mentioned before, I've never done a uh, video like this showcasing, you know, products that, uh, that I use and uh, products that I intend to use because some of these are relatively new to me. But uh, I hope this video gave you an idea of some items that just might surprise you a little bit in terms of when you're looking for overlanding, car camping, off-roading products. Uh, each one of them is unique in their own way, and I hope I gave you a good spectrum from $50 all the way up to $300 from the uh, Tom Shoe here to the um, Tactical Subcompact to the Adventure X Outdoors Kinetic Rope Kit. Uh, and then to the $200 category, uh, the Bunker Industry uh, Traction Boards, really, really nice there. To $250, here the uh, Boxio Kitchen Sink, as I call it. It's actually called the Boxio Wash. And then lastly, uh, in that $300 category, the uh, Moonshade, uh, which is 9 feet by 7 feet, uh, if I didn't uh, already mention that. So there you have it. Those are some of uh, my gift recommendations for uh, the upcoming holidays. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, if you wouldn't mind liking and commenting, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I would really, really appreciate it.